there are um, so many crops grown, but um, there are three important crops which uh, host the masses of the people there. The first one is maize. Uh, the second one is uh, rice and uh, there is pigeon peas. We have relied on maize for a long period of time. Actually, it is the main staple food crop in the district. Yeah, but uh, we have also realized that uh, our growing of maize is experiencing a lot of challenges. Yeah, so because uh, we have a population that needs to be fed, and uh, we have these problems that we're experiencing in maize production, there is need for us to come in with alternatives. These alternatives are going to complement the low supplies of maize that are grown in the district, and making sure that there's food in the district throughout the year. So we are promoting also the growing of other uh, uh, important crops, like I mentioned of rice. I have also uh, an idea that we are also promoting the growing of sorghum. And we are also encouraging people even to diversify their diets. Because uh, sometimes when people consume cassava or sweet potato, they, they, they look at that as a snack. It's not, 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 not as, a, as, as food like that we get from maize and the, 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 the other crop like rice. So we are trying to promote this, to change the culture. Of, of using these things and making sure that we also look at these alternatives as important sources of food. So, more specifically, the agricultural policies which exist are perpetuating a low food supply diversity. Uh, more specifically, they are promoting maize and soybean. Uh, there is no diversification to other nutrient-dense food groups, and when you look in the literature, 80% of the households are in monoculture systems. So this means that the supply of the food from the agricultural sector is really not diverse enough. And when we try to understand what are these policies implying in terms of the physical food environment, we observed that over the last decade, there has been an increase in availability of maize and edible oil, but a decrease in other food groups, which translates into low food market diversity. 